Every time I need to ask for it, Daddy Long Legs or Crane Fly. Now to form the detached body I'm using a, a thin foam. This is a thin fly foam here. This one's by Wopsy and Wopsy supply many companies and this is a company I bought it from. It's Glasgow England Centre. Now this is the 2mm which is the thickness and it's in tan. Now you can you can buy the foam in many colours and I've used red, yellow, olive, I mean chartreuse even uh, and still in the same fly, but in the real fly I would expect either brown or tan would be either a good foam to use. Now, what I'm going to do is cut a length around about 3 to 4 millimetres wide. And then what I'm going to do is cut it into like a pencil point. It's a bit better than that. Yeah, like that. I'm going to form the detached or segmented body using a needle. Now, the first thing I do about is basically at the end of the foam I like to seal it, and at the same time this colours the end of the foam. I mean, slightly darkens it down. So I'm just going to lightly use the flame to colour it. Moisten my fingers. Slightly put a taper into it. I don't have to do that, but it, I like to see it, just makes it look much better. And then, point the needle, just put it into the very end of the, the foam, it's coming a wee bit better. It's right there. And then, for your thread, I'm just going to use a uni thread and tan, an 8 come yeah. Come in at the back, up against where you've actually put it into the needle. And then come in with about three turns. This is a waste piece and they don't cut that away. Just bring the thread to the back of the foam and onto the needle. You want to wind a couple of times going up. And then you want it to sort of form like a taper. Do there's three turns there and repeat this all the way up. And it's every so often just give the waste piece a wee tighten up. Just so it's sitting right. Because this is holding the body or making strength into the body. And again... Just straighten it out a wee bit to get the distance you want. Three to four turns again. Just repeat this a couple of turns up onto the the needle. Switch thread out. Three to four turns it. And then just keep working your way up. And I say every so often just get your waist piece and give it a wee pull just to tighten it. Keep going to get the length you want. Now the crane fly is quite a big fly, it's a big terrestrial fly that the fish do like to eat, so yeah, that should be enough. And then just basically wet finish. Trim the thread. And then just remove it from the needle. Now, take it from the needle stretch it. Now underneath you'll see the thread turns. Now what I like to do is just slightly tighten both waist piece and the tying thread so that it actually disappears into the, the foam and you can see it actually goes right in. Now the width of the foam is important that it turns round it. It's got to be at least 3 mil anyway and that there seals it. Now you can put like a lacquer varnish or a resin, a UV resin, which, which I've done. Uh, use a flexible version if you can get it. And uh, it will last a wee bit longer. But I found that these do tend to last a lot. I mean, you get a few fish before these start to get a bit soft. And as you see, it makes a very realistic body. This here could be your thorax cover. If you want to use it as a thorax to come over the back. Most times you just tie it in and then trim this away. Or what I'd like to do is, if I'm tying them or making another body, I just trim it there. Now, the reason I keep the waist piece and the tying thread there is that I tie these in. Because that is what's holding this body together. So when you're tying it on the dress and tie both of these in at the same time, then that's you ready to go. This is the Kamasan V160. Basically, it's a short shank. So it's a short shank, which is equivalent to a 10, but the gape is equivalent to a size 8, so that's ideal for a detached bodied fly.
Now the thread, we're just going to use the same thread, it's the uni thread and tan and eight O. We just simply put the thread layer, the thread turns down to from the eye to the point of the hook. And then remove the waist piece. Legs, I'm just going to use the pre-knotted legs that basically we can buy these, these are from Vineyards. They're pre-knotted, you can knot your own, uh, which I do as well. So now on an inset, or in this case, this terrestrial is a crane fly with has six legs. But you can exaggerate, you can put three, four on if you want. And that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to put four either side. So I'm taking four from one side of the feather. And basically tie it, just tie it on. And again, four from the other side. Again, same length. And then, like you would figure eight through fibres, like if you were doing tails or a wing, I'm going to do this to separate these legs. So with tons of thread just to keep them apart. There we are. That's fine. And then trim away. You can see they're like well spread out. No use tying them forward because they're just going to get drawn back. Now make sure this is tied, tied down, and then come back. Now we're going to tie our body on. Now if you've got carried away with the length of the body, you can actually tie it where you want. If you want it shorter, tie it there. If you want it in the length, I'm wanting it here. Tie it on the last segment and onto the threads. The two, the tying thread that I used and the waist piece. It's important that you tie these in. So as they're hold, they're holding the body together, so it's important that you do that. Now you could use this as a cover, which I've done as many times. Once you put the high on, you can bring this over. But I'm just going to leave it off. So what I'm going to do is cut it into a point. So I've got like a taper, just like that, and then tie it down. Make sure it kind of stays on top. Just a wee tad too long, so I'm just going to trim point away and make sure it's tied in. See where you are. It's fine, it looks okay. Now, the wing, I'm going to put in a couple of bits of flash, and this is just crystal flash, pearl. Two strands either side in the length of the body. So catch on to my side, come down with two or three turns and come back up to the other side. And then use the body as a, a measure and trim. You'll see how what it looks like, just spread it out. And then for the for the wing I'm just gonna use hackle hackle tips or hackles, small hackles. In this case this is a an Indian a grizzle. You use two feathers the same length. Then we'll go off at the same time. Oops, that's a broken one, so I'm just going to get another. Just make sure sometimes you get, because these kind of feathers are not the best in the world, but you do get some broken ones, and I like to have the same. There you go. That's fine. So here we are. And again, these two tie them, tie them in at both at the same time, same length as the body. Now what I'm going to do is just basically open up an area where I'm going to tie them in. Get the length, hold them on the top, come in with two or three turns, and then get them to sit where you want. If you can see there, they look okay. And once you're happy, you can really tighten up. Don't worry about some of these fibres, you can tie them in. And you can draw them back like just to tidy up. When you do end up with a nice type of wing. Now we're ready for tying in my hackle. Now this is a, a Mets grade 2 and this is natural brown. It's a saddle hackle or a cock hackle. It's got one of the larger feathers. You simply tie this 
on the side, down back up, and remove that. Now I like a bit of dubbing, just a bit of natural rabbit, just for the thorax, just to kind of tidy things up. You don't need it too heavy, you don't want it too heavy. Just enough to sort of tidy the area up. Now, just in here, run about where the legs are. You can come in and tidy up. All the way down. And then we can wind our hackle. Just come in, do one turn, run to the other. Slightly space them out as you go. Just take your time. Now these are long enough that I can hold them without hackle pliers. All the way down. To get to the eye, across the thread. Two or three turns or so. Now for security I can pull this back, fold them back. Come over it, so a head length. Keeping the thread tight I can actually break that off. And then you can work finish. It's a very easy fly to tie, very effective. Remove thread, simply just in the area. Varnish the head. I like to do it on the vice because I can rotate it. Just make sure the eye is nice and clean. <coughs> 